And to be Gary Glisser, Paul Gadd, 68 years old. These are the latest pictures from this morning, leaving his uh, property in central London, being taken uh, to be questioned by police. Police saying that he was arrested seven, uh, quarter past seven this morning on suspicion of sexual offences, been taken into custody at a London police station. Uh, the individual, police not naming him at this time, uh, they say he falls under the strand of the investigation, they're terming Saville and others. So that giving you the, the scope of, uh, of the investigation and where that is, uh, where that is leading. Uh, some of the, uh, obviously, evidence bags and what have you is part of that ordinary uh, procedure that would take place following this uh, sort of arrest. But as you can say, police not uh, naming the individual, but clearly we saw... Paul Gary Glitter is free after serving nearly three years in a Vietnamese prison for molesting children. The British glam rocker was immediately deported from Vietnam on Tuesday and flew to Bangkok en route to England. But the 64-year-old rocker allegedly refused to leave the Bangkok airport and demanded to be allowed to stay in Thailand or another Asian country. But Thailand refused to allow him to enter the country. Glitter was convicted in March 2006 of committing obscene acts with children. The incidents involved two girls ages 10 and 11. But Glitter has proclaimed his innocence. In a recent interview with a Vietnamese newspaper, Glitter said he was thinking about resuming his singing career. Glitter sold 18 million records and recorded a string of British top 10 hits back in the 1970s. The most successful song is the crowd-pleasing anthem, Rock and Roll Part Two. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press. Well, until midnight last night, Gary Glitter was subjected to, subject to a, a travel banning order, which meant largely that he had to uh, give in his uh, passport and wasn't allowed to travel abroad. Now, the Metropolitan Police, who kind of oversee the management of Glitter, could have applied for a new order. There's a maximum of five years that these orders can last for. He's been under an order for three and a half, well, just over three years. Um, but they didn't um, apply for a new order, so the, uh, the order has, uh, has gone away. Um, the Met Police won't talk about the individual case today, but they have said in a, in a very brief statement that in general terms, um, if there is information suggesting uh, a person is likely to re-offend, then they would go for, uh, for another travel order. So they haven't. Uh, he will get his passport back unless it's, of course, expired. Um, but he is essentially free to travel anywhere in the world, but he still has to give notice of any travel plans if he's planning to be away from the UK for more than three days. And, of course, uh, if he does tell the police he's going to travel, the police may well tell the country he's headed for that he's on his way. And that's going to be difficult in some parts of the world for Glitter because when he came back to the UK, when he was deported from Vietnam after serving his sentence there, he tried to go to 19 other countries before coming back to the UK, and those 19 countries refused to accept him. So it's still likely he will find it very difficult to go to a number of countries even now.